my detail of people thank y'all for coming back and tuning in to another video so in today's video we're going to be working on a van a dodge caravan to be exact we're going to be performing an exterior detail and we're going to do that using only superior products superior products is a brand, a brand of products that i like to use i like to use them because they cost efficient and most of the chemicals you can go ahead and you can dilute them to different strengths that way you can stretch out your product so just uh sit back and i'm gonna um, break down some of the dilution ratios i use with the products and what i use the products for the wheels i'm going to be using spray products dark fairy and this is a good bug remover and it also helps break down you can use it on the paint to help break down the road grime that's on the paint you spray it on the wheels I'm gonna let it sit and then I'm gonna uh, go back and agitate and then rinse off and you gonna see uh, the results. Let me show y'all how bad these wheels are. See that? Okay, so we're done with the wheels. I went ahead and I put Formula 4 spray wax on the wheels after I washed them, and that helps with uh, water spotting. So I use that on the wheels, and you also use it on the paint. You can use it on the whole car, but I use it on the wheels. So for the paint, we're going to be using their Purple Prep, which is their iron remover. I have their cherry foam, three ounces, mixed into my foam tanning, and I also put I put a little bit of uh, or dark fairy to help with the uh, breakdown of the road grime that's on the paint. I'm going to rub this in into the paint to make sure I get even coverage, full coverage, and then I'm going to rinse it off. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to foam it up, and then I'm going to go ahead and proceed with the rest of the exterior wash. So just stick with it. All right, now it's hot out here, so when you're using purple prep or any type of iron remover, you don't uh, want to allow it to dry on the paint. So just try to work quick as possible so you won't have any issue on the working into the paint and then we want to go ahead and rinse it off. It's a, got a little bit of reaction. I don't know if you can really see the purple specks like that, but there you go. Right, you can see all the purple specks. So let me go ahead and get finished and uh, go ahead and then we want to proceed on by foaming it down with the Rage mixed with cherry foam in the foam pan. completely washed now so now what we want to do is we're going to take our flush microfiber and we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to dry off the exterior and then we're going to use that A1 polish and glaze and we want to go ahead and polish up the car so go ahead and uh, stick around to see how this polish work out on this vehicle. For the tires we're going to be using their cover all. I like using this because you can just spray it on, leave it, and you can just walk away, continue on with the rest of it. So that's what I'm going to get. 
Now for the application process, I usually just go ahead and use one coat. So that's what I'm gonna do. That way I won't have to use so much product. So. It's gonna leave it with a nice little OEM look. This is a fresh pad, so I'm gonna go ahead and prime my pad. Now it's nice and prime. I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, three drops on here. I'm gonna spread it out on the surface on speed one. And then I'm gonna bump it up to speed three and a half. First pass is basically gonna be your polishing pass and um, your correction, light correction. And the second pass basically is just gonna be your wax layer. So if you wanna apply any pressure, slight pressure to your first pass, which is your polishing pass, and then your second pass, you just come back and you jewel the paint and you know, that's your, uh, that's your wax. Let it dry to a haze and then we're going to come back and wipe it off and we're going to see the finishing results. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to wipe off the haze and see uh, what type of results we can reveal. Now, as far as the wipe off goes, it's pretty easy. It comes right off. So, you know, that's a good thing that you want, especially, you know, being like I am a mobile detail and having to use product in the sun, which I'm doing right now, it wipes off easy. If you do have any problems with wiping it off, just go ahead and, you know, you can spritz a little O&R or a quick detailer on your rag and wipe it off and it'll come off like that. But let me go ahead and I'm going to finish wiping it all down and then I'm going to show you the finished results. Alright my detailer fam, here is the final results. So you can see we got um, cover all on the wheels. We use dark furry for the rims and we also used it on the paint as a um, for the uh, roll grime and film that be on the paint and we use dirt buster two ounces in your bucket as the hand wash and we also use um, three ounces of cherry foam in the foam canning look at the gloss with rage but then um, to finish everything off we use that A1 glaze polish and wax and these are the results that we got it's a nice reflection Uh, you just seen me use Superior products to do an exterior detail on this Dodge Caravan. We use cover all to dress the wheels, to dress the tires. We use Rage to clean the wheels. We also use Rage mixed with cherry foam and a uh, foam cannon to help uh, break down the road grime on the paint. And that's what we use to wash the car with. We decontaminated the paint with their uh, iron remover, which is purple prep. And then we went ahead and we uh, polished and protected the paint with their A1 polish and wax glaze. So, if you like videos like this, stick with the channel, subscribe, hit that like button. Thank y'all for supporting. Thank you for tuning in. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Stay blessed. Peace.